All right, so I was going to <clears throat> tell this story to you and have this talk with you in my stories, but I decided it's actually a little bit longer of a conversation. So surprise, here's a vlog from 30A. I have been observing and watching while I've been here. <sighs> and something happened yesterday that I just like watched and I looked over and I found myself recording it. And I was like, why am I recording this? And then I was like, if I record this and I post this in my stories, there are gonna be so many people who have so much to say because you're really not able to like express and explain as much as you need to in stories. <clears throat> so we were at the beach last night. We did like later in the afternoon so it wasn't so crowded and um, yeah, it was a little bit less hot. Anyway, we went down there to hit some waves and I was sitting there on a beach towel in the sand, all sandy, like, you know, I'm at the beach and in walks this girl in front of me who, uh, she's definitely younger than me. Um, I want to say in her twenties for sure. And she had on big mammoth, like va va voom sunglasses. Her hair was done. Makeup was on. She looked dewy, like in a really cute, but not functional bathing suit. And I was like, what is going on here? So I kind of like spotted her cause it was like a bright orange bathing suit. And I'm like, she came down here to like take pictures, no, like no shit. She definitely came down here to do that. And so I kind of just observe and then I see probably her mom or someone and she is posing and, and like, you know, she is like working it, like she is working it. And I was like, this is not like, this is not happening right now. Like, I can't believe I'm watching someone at the beach have full makeup on, tons of jewelry to go with the the bathing suit and the whole thing and the glasses and the hair. Like it was, like she was stunning. Um, and I think I videoed it because in that moment I was like, this is what it looks like to sometimes have that job, but it is not reality. And I am not judging that girl. I am not bashing that girl. I don't have a problem with what she was doing. What I have a problem with is, and what I do judge is the fact that this is where society has gone and this is literally who we are as humans, where it is 100% normal to get all dressed up as a 20 something year old, 34, I don't care how old you are, but get all dressed up, go to the beach just to pose for a picture so that we can portray how good life is or how good we have it or how dewy our skin can look or just how, amazing our body can like that's not reality like my ass is sitting and itching with sand up my butt you know like I'm trying to hide my my face because I get all this discoloration even like all over there to the point where it almost looks like I have like a shadow getting real here like I sleep in this jewelry like like this jewelry doesn't come off like it literally doesn't. I, I don't wake up in the morning, putting this on, going to the beach. So let's make that clear because you might be like, you're such a hypocrite. Like you have jewelry on at the beach. I don't take this shit off. It's probably not good, but I'm really that lazy. And I think the reason that this conversation is so important is because we can look at individuals our age, 
We can have our children look at individuals that girl's age. Like this is what we are growing up in now and living through and living in. And this is what <clears throat> we're demonstrating to our children. And that is what is scary to me. Like it's not about the actual girl who's doing it. It's about that that is 100% typical and like 100% normal in our mainstream life but it's not reality. She didn't go hang out on a beach all day and then be like, hey mom, will you take some pictures of me? She got quaffed, came down for the actual look. And I, I just don't think that people think about those things when they look at just a picture on social media. So then you think, well, if she looks like that or if she can do all that at the beach and, and you know, present that means I have to or I should be able to and if I'm not able to then I suck or I'm not worthy or I'm fat or I'm stupid or I'm ugly or why can't my thighs look like that why like it's it just, you can just go down a rabbit hole and there's so much of that on social media like so much of that on social media and it is not reality it is not reality. And I think my jaw dropped. And the reason I videoed this video is because I was like, like you don't, you don't, you don't have to do that in order to be successful. You don't have to do that in order to be worthy. You don't have to do that in order to have a wonderful life. Like, I got nothing on, like, ha, like this is, this is beach hair, you know, like, <coughs> it doesn't, it doesn't mean you're any less worthy if you don't have, like, the newest, bestest bathing suit, it do, like, it just doesn't matter, but there's so much of that going on on social media of, like, I should matter, I should care, like, I should care about all those things, that it's so fucking toxic, it is so toxic, and to be honest with you, most of this summer, if not most of this year, I've really taken a step back. Me, personally, I used to show up in stories so much more. Um, I'm even sometimes finding my creative juices. It's like difficult for me to get going when I'm doing my reels and it's never been like that. And I think it's because social media from the time I started has absolutely changed and they're changing it in order to make the ones who pay for things the ones that are profitable. So let's say you're hoping that a reel goes viral. They have built algorithms to stop those reels that might otherwise go viral if they know that you are trying to market something and that you can then use their platform to pay them to advertise your services. And before it was just a fun place that you could show up honestly for free. And there wasn't all these algorithms that just like hit you big time. And I have heard a lot of my colleagues call social media or Instagram in particular, um, a narcissistic relationship because it's like, why would you keep giving this something that doesn't give you anything in return? <laughs> all of our pages, like we are, we don't make anything off of our, our pages. Like they are, they are capitalizing on us. We're not getting anything in return for the content that we create on there. Now, do I do it because I in return get tons of clients that I love? That's why I do it. But I've taken a step back because there's just so much toxicity to me on social media, whether it be you know, the perfect poses or um, the stupid algorithm. Like it, it doesn't matter. Like that's not what's important in life. It just isn't. Um, and the more and more I regulate myself and the more and more I support my nervous system, the less and less all that stuff matters. Like wanting to have the dewy skin and wanting to do, like not, like when you regulate it, you just get to be yourself. You absolutely get to be yourself. Now the other story I want to tell you about 
is me at the beach today. This is no joke, okay? Like this is legit no joke. Um, standing at, sitting at the beach, looking at my phone, booking an appointment or something. And um, all of a sudden I see this little girl and her brother come up and he starts wiping his eye. Okay, he starts like wiping his eyes like, and he's like silent. He's just like, oh, and she's like, stop, stop using my towel, you know, sand, all the things. <clears throat> so he just keeps wiping his eye and he just does it silently. And I see his mom and she starts to look and she's like, oh, I think they're getting into it. Like she kind of is seeing what's happening. And so she starts coming up to them. I shit you not. Like I shit you not. Sorry, I don't have a tripod, but I shit you not. That kid, automatic tantrum. Like the moment mom stepped into the picture. Like the kid was just like, had sand in his eye, was just wiping it out quietly. Like, I've got this, like, I've got this. Second mom walks in, hey, what's wrong? What's that? What do you need? I was like, dude, you were, you were just handling that just fine. Like, you got, like, you were, you were, you were doing it. And the point of the story is that I think we don't recognize, and I'm saying we, because I feel that a lot of parents, oh, I love you moms, but often us, I'm, I'm, I'm this too, okay? Like I had to learn this too. I ha like I wouldn't have learned this unless I became a solo parent and I have boys and I had to buck up and learn boundaries and like, you got to. Like, I, like I just don't know what else to say. So I was there too. I used to, I used to cater into all of that, okay? So you're, don't you worry. I'm not judging at all, but your children are that fucking smart, okay? Like your children are that smart that when they come up, when you come up, they're gonna be like, oh, help me because now they have someone to help them. But before he was helping himself just fine. Like I promise you, this kid was like rocking it out. He was doing great. Didn't even, he could care less about his sister kicking him in the head while he was trying to wipe. Like he was like, hold on, like I, fine. And then I'm telling you, this tantrum went on for 10 minutes. Mom's shoving water in his eye. And then, she's like, then we're gonna have to go up. Then we're gonna have to go see someone. We gotta have to, and no, 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 no. Then he backs up because clearly he doesn't wanna walk anywhere. He doesn't wanna go anywhere. He's not even that hurt, like he's fine. And so he, he's like, it burns, it burns. And she's like, okay, like you gotta stand up. I gotta put some water in your eye. And he's like, I don't want, she's like, you gotta open your eye. Like they were just going back and forth. And she was like, having to almost give threats back and forth to get him to do what she needed him to do so that they didn't have to like go up there. That was the threat, right? And man, that was so much energy for that mom. And I just thought to myself, that was a lot of effort for her. Like that was a lot that she put on herself and took on, of course we love our kids and we don't want them to be in pain, especially if they have sand in their eye, clearly, right? Like. If we need help, we need help. Like, I'm not saying stop helping your kids, but I saw another side of the story. I saw and observed this kid doing a wonderful job of just quietly, like, just breathing. And like, he was like, stop, hold on. I got something in my eye. Like he was just calm, cool and collected. And if we allow our children to do things on their own, if we, push them to say, oh, you got this. Like, come on, like, like, yeah, it's just some sand. Let's go, go take a dip in the pool. You know, like, of course we're gonna check and make sure, like, of course, right? This, hold on, hold on, let me check it out. Oh, wow, okay. You know, I, I see some, okay. What would you like to do about it? You just wanna keep wiping? Like, let them lead and try to let them do it themselves. But when we continue to jump in, they don't learn how to take care of it themselves. And then they will rely more on us long-term, which is exhausting. And again, I wanna remind you, I was one of those that did all of that, okay? I did. And then I had to learn some very tough lessons from individuals who love me along the way that, and I like needed to check, like got, experts and, and had, I've had tons of mentors and I'm like, I just want to make sure like, we're okay here. Like we're like, we're okay. Like that's what it's taken me to get to the point of being like, it is okay to let them figure it out because I care so much. 
I wanna make sure I'm continuing, continuing to learn about the brain as it relates to our children and parenthood and make sure that I am supporting my children the best way I know how in order to make sure that I give them the best shot at mental stability and mental health. For me, it's not about control. It's not about conscious parenting. It's not about anything other than am I setting you up for success to be able to support yourself emotionally and mentally when you're older? And I do believe a way in which to do that and one of the core principles of getting your children to believe in themselves enough to do that is by stepping back a little bit and observing and giving them more permission to try things on their own and be able to fix it for themselves, be able to support themselves, be able to teach them, oh my gosh, I did it. Because every time we do that in my home, even if it was something they didn't want to do, and I'm like, nope, you got like you got this. Like, mm, you said you're going to do it, so you got to finish it. Every time, oh my gosh, I did it. Well, yeah, we knew you could do it. That's all we told you had to do it. Like, told you had to finish, right? Like, we knew you could do it, you know? Yeah, I did do it. And they're learning skills, valuable, valuable lessons. So those are my two observations from the beach so far. I have some more days here. I didn't know I was gonna do a vlog, but I'm sure you'll have plenty of comments below on all of this. When I talk, I try super, super hard to preface things and make sure that you know that none of this is coming from a judgmental place. None of it. All of it is coming from a place of, we need to support each other and help each other and parenthood's not easy and learning how to regulate your nervous system while being a parent's not easy, depending on how many kids you have, how many are more needy than others, how many are more regulated than others. Everyone has different nervous systems. Like this shit isn't easy, right? So I'm sharing all this with you to help you move forward in your own journey in life and make a difference in your own life, whatever that looks like for you. And if you have them for your kids. So that's all she wrote for today. Also one more thing. If you have listened to this whole video and you got any like pinch or twinge within this where you're like, oh, she just called me out. Like, ooh, like, ooh, I do that. Or like, uh, like, oh, Lordy, ooh. And you even maybe even felt a little angry with me of like, she's totally judging. Like maybe if you had some real feelings, I want you to ask yourself, how does it make you feel when I say those things? And then from those feelings, I want you to try and take care of those feelings. Ask yourself, how should I take care of these feelings? Because that is the way to regulate emotionally through whatever's going on in your life. And if you felt any like, like I said, pinch or ooh, that's me of like, I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I'm over-functioning as a parent, I'm doing way too much with my kids, my kids always are hanging on me and I'm exhausted and a vacation is not a vacation and like, this is a nightmare and this, I, I just need alone time like that. If that's you, if you like kind of wanna run from the vacation, hands down, you should not walk, but you should run to sign up for Thrive. Like, is it a huge investment? Yes. Why is it a huge investment? Because it's going to change your life. It's going to change your life. And I promise that. And if it doesn't, I'll refund you. Like literally, if you literally listen to this whole video and you have had moments where you're like, oh, I think I do that, or Ooh, like, oh, I want, I want to be better. I wish I had, like, it, like all those emotions that were, I was talking about of like, I, looking down Instagram, seeing other people, like if you are unhappy and wanna find more self-worth, self-confidence, if you wanna be able to 
be comfortable in your own skin, if you want to have mental health, like happy, joyful mental health while parenting your children, if you want help with understanding your child in general and how you should support them on a neurological level to be able to get more you time back, like gotta support them so they learn it so that then you get you right, like you get me. We help you with all of that, like all of that. And you have 24 seven support for three entire months. I'm talking 24 seven. I'm not talking like, you know, nine to five, honey. Like, no, like dads, moms, you guys are all welcome. Parents, non-parents, you're all welcome. But in order to learn this and in order to truly adopt it into your system so that it stays and you you don't go back the other way because this is not a diet. This is gonna be a lifestyle for the rest of your life. We have to pattern your brain to be able to think that way. And when your brain thinks that way, you naturally act that way and you naturally do those things. That requires 24 seven support. And if you are looking at any other program or looking at any other thing and someone tells you it is not 24 seven support, don't do it because it's just gonna be like therapy or a quick check-in or like the intensive work that we do with you and the amount of time we spend with you individually is why this works. And if you wanna enjoy your life, if you wanna enjoy your vacations, think about it next summer. Do you want your summer to look different? If that's you, run. Okay, love you, bye.